I will let you all do that for a moment. And I will, uh, maybe, maybe leaving in April is bad luck. We should always leave in March. Let's roll the die and see what we're going to do. We are a saddle maker. We get no bonus, but we get a 2.5 final bonus. Or no advantages, my bad. Stumpomatic, if there's room. You know, Inks and Cubes, we've not ridden any snakes tonight. We've not had snakes in like two runs. So I'm not sure what's going on. I like this uh, Stephen Mink thing. I have to save it. Jean-Claude is doing his job, that's right. Oh my god. That's awful, Joe. I should time you out. Alright, the first person going on the trail is... If they are following... Akadon. Is Akadon still in the chat? I didn't reset it, I kind of left everything running. But we'll see, if Akadon's not here, then we'll have to move on. Least expected 33 bits. We may have to shun Akadon. The bit, the bit thing is totally full. Akadon is excited and ready to go. The Bit Cup is really on top of itself right now. All right, Akadon, you're coming along. Who's coming with you? Seven, or the Spadester is coming along with us. <laughs> oh, it's great. <laughs> Somebody's got to class up this joint. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. All right, so we got Akadon, Spadester, all the grandfather clocks. Libris, Libris, you said you wanted to go. You're you're good luck when it comes to this. You're just like, boom, there I am. I at least expected. I know seven and just give me shit later about it. So, all right, and the last person going. Remember, this is totally just random. Three dog. If we go through this quick enough, we'll have time to do at least one more run. So, those of you who didn't get picked this time, don't. Don't live in disarray, because once you get picked, you kind of get marked off the list. So eventually, like right now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight people have not been called. So you've still got a chance to go on the next run. Yeah, usually on Oregon Trail 2, you get to stay on the screen for longer, but your chances of death are much higher. That's the only bad part about Oregon Trail 2, is it, um... Well, we keep it on the slowest setting. We could turn it up faster and finish those, but... All right, let's continue on. We're leaving in March, because I said so. We got a little bit more money, so we could spring for... Let's go 12 oxen. 12 sets of clothes, 10, 1, 1, 1, and 1,000 pounds of food. I will take it. I think we're good to go. We're going to do the grueling pace again. I don't know why I'm all into that tonight. I'm into the grueling pace. Let me check the radar to make sure this is going by. Make sure I'm not going to die. Oh my god. This is a, oh, you can't even see it. It goes through because it's so freaking green and red. 
No radar for you all. Well, Seven, I had that big run where we didn't have any deaths for like a week and a half. And the game is slowly getting me back. I like this music though. I like the change. I uh, know, it just said severe thunderstorms. Yeah, I'm totally just going to shoot these things in the butt. They die quicker. 845 pounds of food, we carried 200 back. It's, it's 83 degrees right now at 921. That's why we're getting storms. Hey, Nicholas. Oh, my God. Seven, already breaking his arm 30 miles in. Let's rest for a day here at the river. It is 8.9 feet deep, and let's take the ferry. Five bucks, two days. Yep, we need to rest anyway. That is okay with me. I remember when Grimmoth was along for the one venture, and he said that I was, he pretty much called me a liar, saying that fairies didn't sink. And it happened on the street, but it like shocked the hell out of him. Three dog, you have dysentery. We just were 102 miles into this. Oh my god. I can't believe this. RNG has declared war on me. 247 feet across, 5.7 feet deep in the middle. Boom. We're going to float this bitch. Yeah, we took care of that. If something has flown into my eye crossing the river. We're stuck in the fog. Oh, no! Oh, God! Libris! Okay, here's where I gotta make a big adult decision. I don't know, but every time we rest with the measles, the person dies. So, I'm not going to rest this time and take a gamble that RNG misses the death. Yeah, it's thundering pretty good now. <laughs> Five bits by Pyro, this game must hate you or something. I think it knows I'm trying to install other versions. Alright, Libris is even saying keep going, so we'll see. If Libris survives the measles, that might be the first time ever that happens. Three dog is well again. Talk to Peyton Manning. The trails from the jumping off places, Independence, St. Joseph, Council Bluffs, come together at Fort Kearney. This new fort was built by the U.S. Army to protect those bound for California. That's the kind of hat I need. I need to set up a P.O. box and just let you all send me like amazing hats. Just so I can wear them for different games. The Platte River Valley forms a natural roadway. The Platte River Valley forms a natural roadway from Fort Kearney to Fort Laramie. Travelers bound for California, Utah, and Oregon all take this road. Could be the easiest stretch of the whole trip. Should see antelope and plenty of buffalo. Yeah, that's what you say, but then we start going and we don't run into anything. Make that P.O. box. Let's go hunting. Get wrecked, squirrel. Get wrecked, larger squirrel. Oh, God. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Okay, I'll stop there. 1,075. We've carried back 200. Are we still... Oh, my God. Poor, poor. Broken arm. Measles, poor. Stop. Hammer time. Rest. Three days. Back up in the fair category. 
Livers survived the measles! Holy crap! Eighteen bits. Let's get the P.O. box fund to chat. Oh my god, the cup had spilled over it. I didn't buy a library ticket tonight. I would have been late for the stream. So if my numbers get drawn tonight, I may go into depression. I want you all to know this. All right, let's see if Libris survives. I think we'll go on this slow pace until the next landmark and then, and then we'll speed it up again. Chernobyl, so spade, or seven of spade, seven, shit, seven, 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 has, still has a broken arm. We velved, weaved, lev, weaved the, the Mimea, what are you, Akadon, what? <laughs> Akadon, there was attempted English, but you failed. Alright, let's put the pace back up to grueling and hit it. Yeah, I was gonna say, step. Oh, be warned, stranger! Don't dig a water hole. All right, this is good. We're going. I need to hunt. I haven't put goals up on the chat in a while now, for like monetary means. I feel like it runs you all off. Measles. What the fuck did I? I Akadon, I. I, I honestly have no idea what you were attempting there. I really thought you were speaking in tongues for a second, and you were trying to baptize me through the computer. Um, I mean, I've already been baptized in my life, but I thought you were trying it again there. And I really didn't know how to cooperate with that. <laughs> Seven. I just assumed you had all. I shouldn't laugh at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh <laughs> flustered on that one my oh my <laughs> all right let's let's keep going this way <laughs> no i laughed so hard i gave labris <gasps> the measles again that's the second time oh that's what i get for laughing at a joke like that oh okay but we're not stopping we're gonna keep on going Hey, seven's well again. You have to do work, punk. Oh no, this fog counts as resting. This is bad. Oh no! Game, you are screwing me up. You know that I figured your little ploy out. Well, we'll see if we've solved the measles. expected seven bits guess why I made it only seven let's do a steady pace for these last 25 miles we're in poor health probably due to the fact that I'm doing the longest or the fastest possible way let's go ahead and try to rest now we'll rest for almost a week Survived measles twice. Boom. That may be one of our greatest achievements ever. 
Man, if Oregon Trail had achievements, what would they be? That's... Three Dog has a fever. I'm not stopping. Not stopping has worked on this run. <clears throat> Libris is suffering from exhaustion. See, the game is screwing me into stopping. We're on the slowest pace. We rested for four days. And now it's like, you have to stop. Everybody has exhaustion. <laughs> if you die, you're drowning me. Well, that's nice. Thank you. No grass for the ox. Seven has cholera. RNG, what are you doing? Buddy, what are you doing? If you don't get sick on this trip, you'll eat your hat. Three dog as well again. Alright, we made it here. I'm fair, Akadon's fair, seven has cholera, Libris is exhausted, and three dog is fair. So let's rest for two days. And hopefully we can break off some of that. Here we go, Libris, making it through the big things. Let's kick up the pace to grueling again. We'll take the shortcut to Green River. Oh! Devin! Well, Joe, you called that. Ninja Measles strikes. Joke's on you, I don't gotta do any work now. Wow. Wow. I did not expect that. The girl in the pink dress is like, moo. What? That's not nice. Stop fat shaming. Go hunting in his honor. The measles made its way around. You know, Libris caused that. Because he's the one that brought uh, measles on board and kept them on board. There you go. Nicholas, you sure uh, Akadon's not spreading to you there? I swear I hear a leaf blower outside now. That or a plane's getting ready to crash. Uh oh, wild fruit. How's everybody else doing? Fair, fair, dead, fair, fair. Okay, so everybody's okay except seven. But here's the elusive Green River. I may have to take a different strategy this time. We're going to take the ferry across. So that we cannot die. Because I'm tired of dying. I was really expecting the ferry just to break. Ah, stop throwing food out, bastards. Eat it. I don't care if it's green. Let's hunt. The strategy was to Ford SKS. No, no, it wasn't. It was measles, not smallpox. <laughs> Just eat it. Yes, because bad meat will give you measles. There's a WebMD health tip for you all out there. A fire in your wagon has destroyed 136 bullets, a wagon wheel, and a wagon axle. I think we all know who caused this. The Bandit King has struck again. No, Joe, you've been replaced. It's now the Bandit King. 
And Joe, if you've not watched that musical yet, we need to give you the link so that you can watch it. Because once you've watched it, it will change your life forever. Hey, Reaver. I'm sorry, Reaver. I cannot wait for you. You've already missed two runs with plenty of deaths. Okay, Reaver, I'll put it in the uh, chat later tonight. I've watched it like three times. It's freaking amazing. <sighs> was that all of my extra stuff? Of course it was. So we have no wheels and no axles now. Remember when the Bandit King tried to stop us going to Oregon? Damn it! Let's keep going. I think Joe would enjoy it. I bet his daughter would make him watch it. Lost my partner. What do I hey, Tom Selleck. Well, friend, this is where we part. I'm bound for California with an imposing desert to cross. And you, you've got the Snake River to cross, which I hear is no picnic. Right us, you or the missus, just as soon as you reach Oregon. Yay. Here there's mountain sheep around here. Around Enough here. Water too, but hardly a stick of wood. Thank heaven for Fort Hall. Fort Hall. But I'm real sorry to be saying goodbye to cousin Miles and all the folks heading for California. Well, why is your cousin going to California? Why doesn't he go with you? You'd think family would try to stick together. Show it to Double J's kids. Lord, they try to set fire to the couch just so they could sing a song. Go hunting. That should be enough. Yep, 200 out of 531. Good morning. Oh my god, look how lost we got. Seven must have been our map guide. Oh, wild fruit. Is that two wild fruits now? We might be in trouble. We might be getting another death now. We got lost again. A dead body. We wake up in the morning and we toss him in the air. And if he lands on heads, we go this way. If he lands on his butt, we go this way. We're at the Snake River. No snakes again! Uh, 12.9, a thousand feet across. We'll float across. No trouble. Here you go, Reaver. I'll put this up. We have me, SKS. We have Akadon. We have the Spadester, a.k.a. Seven, Libris, and then Three Dog. Ow! The map was tattooed on Seven's ass. <laughs> it was like Prison Break. You don't want to know where Hastings' cutoff leads to. <laughs> oh. That was a good map. Oh, no. I know that's two. I got worried. We all died, but it's it's a different one. Here lies SKS. Thanks, Minnesota. Vaccinate your kids. You know what was really cool is playing this in elementary school where like different classes would go in and play the game. So whichever computer you got on, you would always run into other kids' tombstones on the trail. And that was really cool. I'd laugh at them. I remember one girl, I made fun of her for dying like so early on the trip that she cried. On top of all snow. She was like, I didn't know how to hunt for food. It's like, you suck. All covered with snow. I lost my true love. How was mean in elementary school? There weren't real graves. Hey, the best thing that I ever did was when I was in kindergarten, we had a, we had a, a day where we dressed up as Native Americans and, uh, pilgrims and I was one of the Native Americans and it got it was getting really boring so they had this like play set in the corner 
And uh, it was like this plastic place house, and all like the girls were in there, and this was like kindergarten, like early on in kindergarten. So these girls were in there, like all pretending they were cooking for our feast and stuff. And what do I do? I jump up with my fake tomahawk and I run on the table and I'm like ambush because I watched those movies with my dad. And I jump and land on top of the playhouse and it collapses down on these girls. <laughs> It was like the greatest like surprise attack ever. And of course I got sent home and my mom was not very happy about it. But my dad laughed his ass off. <laughs> oh. And Libris, you have a broke arm. <laughs> yep, that was my finest moment. I'm I'm sad that I did that in kindergarten though. Chat is on fire tonight. 11 bits, but least expected. <laughs> Your dad sounds like someone I can respect. <laughs> yeah, they punished me forever for that. I remember my, my, the, the one assistant to the Sunday school teacher. She would be like, you can't go to recess today. You don't know how to tie your shoe. I clearly knew how to tie my shoes. But, like, she'd be like, come up here and show me you know how to tie your shoes. And so I would tie my shoes, like, super fast. And then she would untie them and be like, that doesn't look right. You need to try it again. And she did that for, like, three or four days just to keep me from going to recess because that was my punishment of not going. Not a Sunday school teacher. It was assistant to the kindergarten teacher. Hey, we're at the Grande Rondes. Assistant to the Sunday school teacher does. Did I say Sunday school? I didn't mean Sunday school. I never got. No, that's a lie. At Bible school one year. At Bible school one year, I used to go. My dad would always go. I played baseball. I was really good at baseball. So my dad took me to baseball practice. And, and, and when I come back, they were playing like softball. Like church softball behind the church so it was like all of these kids i was probably like 12 well you know i was a baseball player so i knew how to swing the bat but they were like barely hitting the ball back and forth to each other um so what do i do when i get up the bat i freaking like just demolish the ball like straight on and then this girl like tries to jump out of the way and it hits her in the leg and you just hear this Ow! And she like flips in the air and lands and starts crying. So of course I had to set out because of that. <laughs> oh man. My life. I have lots of stories. I should just do story time with SKS. <clears throat> Let's take the shortcut. Well, I did hurt a kid... In, in T-Ball, when I was little, too, I busted his head open. So, just things happen. Hey, this girl was no ordinary girl. She went on to be, like, the region softball player of the year in high school. So, no excuses she couldn't catch the ball. Look at all this meat. <laughs> Well, in T-ball, again, I was big for my age. I was like, like most kids go through their growth spurt when they're like in middle school. I was like super tall as like a seven-year-old. Um, so when I played T-ball, it scared people. Like they wanted to move me up a league because I was already bigger than most of the kids around. But in T-ball, uh, and if you've ever been into a T-ball game, you know that most of the people playing t-ball are kids that don't know how to play baseball but i watch baseball every day i play baseball watching my dad i knew how to play and i remember i hit the ball off the tee which i hated i hated t-ball it was like the worst of my life and i hit the ball really hard and it was like a line drive and it goes over the second baseman and like this kid's just standing out there in the outfield just like looking around and pow it catches him like right on the forehead breaks his head open he's like just starts bleeding there and of course everybody's stopping and i just keep running and i ran all the bases and got a home run which they didn't count because they had to stop the game to go get the kid and take him to the hospital and get his face stitched up but it was still a home run it was an inside the park home run by golly 
I remember my mom saying, we should go visit the kid in the hospital. Oh, Akadon! He broke your leg. I could. I bet you I couldn't even run the bases now. I need to get a personal trainer to work out and get back in shape. Oh, Akadon, you've broke your leg. We'll rest up. Actually, no, we need to rest now. Got the home run, but not the kill. Pete can be your personal trainer. That's a long way for a personal trainer to travel. Need to re-download. I still have it on my phone. I did. I walked my balls off playing Pokemon Go, and I didn't even like Pokemon as a kid. All right, we made it to the Dalles. These last hundred miles to the Willamette Valley are the roughest. Either rafting down the swift and turbulent Columbia River or driving your wagon over the steep Cascade Mountains. Hire an Indian guide if you take the river. I'm not trusting no engine to take me down the river. This guy, I collect the tolls for the Barlow Road. I collect the tolls for the Barlow Road. A bargain at twice the price. Twice the price. Until last year, the Overlander had no choice. Everyone floated the Columbia. Now, with Mr. Barlow's new road, you can drive your wagon right into Oregon City. Hey, Cyphus. Looks like Tom Hanks. I don't know if he looks like Tom Hanks. He looks like... Maybe the guy that's the uh, lead of Walking Dead a little bit. The Lincoln guy. I wish I had the ability to come through and change all these people with like real actors or something. That would be awesome. Let's wrap down to Columbia because I am an expert at this. I don't think we got a chance of beating Steven uh, Meeks on this run, but we had a fairly successful run. Rick Grimes. No, I mean, isn't it Andrew Lincoln? Isn't that his real name? I watched the first two and a half seasons of Walking Dead. I really liked the start of it, but then it went too much into drama, and it just got away from what it was. You know, they kept stretching stuff out so much. Oh, no. Yep, this, this part of the game I've got. What are you talking about, Sefi? Oh, Sefi, don't worry, it didn't go off. I got it. I got the sound turned off now, so it doesn't matter. It also keeps it minimized. Least expected, 112 bits. Let's break the cup. Let's see what he's gonna do to it. And kablooey. You really didn't clear it out that much. There was no cup breaking at all. Oh, wow, that's a kind of a big score. 45-22. Four people in fair health. Your leg can heal in Oregon. Toss 500 in there. <laughs> Watch that shit go boom. All right, let's see where we get with 45-22. Oh, third on the list. We get so close, but David Hastings and Stephen Meek. Now we had a thousand bid drop earlier. God Emperor Meek. He was the Donald Trump before Donald Trump, I guess. But just for the Oregon Trail. He's gonna make the scores great again. 